Having said that, let's take a look at data self. So the way that I'm going to be showing data self is by actually logging into Acumatica. Right now I have a testing Acumatica site, and I'm going to be logging like I were the CEO of the company of this Acumatica site. So I'm going to log in as a CEO. And one of the things is we can actually define for every person or group of people what their landing page will be. In this case, because I'm the CEO, when I log into Acumatica, let's say early in the morning, I want to see a 360 degree view of the business, meaning looking at data from all over my, my company. In this example, we have on the left side what we call the lead metrics, metrics looking into future transactions. And on the right side, we have lag metrics, metrics that are looking at past performance. Um, on the lead, lead metrics, we have cash flow projection for the next 60 days, orders to ship, opportunities to be closed, and AR aging. And the idea of these dashboards is to be very interactive. Let's say I'm looking at my cash flow in the next 60 days so I can see my inbound money you know, from account receivables. I can see outbound money from payroll, from payables, and how much money I have in the bank today. So when I see all of this inbound and outbound money, I can actually see the projection of my cash flow in the next 60 days. And as long as the most negative number doesn't cross my line of credit, I don't have to worry about. So pretty easy to see and quickly say, you know, I don't need to care about cash flow. Let's move on. Now, cash is king. And sometimes, you know, cash flow can be an issue. Let's say as a CEO, I got to know that one of my clients is disputing payment. They're not going to pay. And let's say this is the payment that's not going to come in. Will that cause me any trouble for cash flow? I can click here and say, exclude that payment. And then what happens is, uh-oh, I just cr crossed the line of credit. Now I have a cash, cash flow issue. I might have to call the CFO and maybe try to work out a way that I'm not going to be running out of cash or having issues with my vendors. So the idea of allowing people to do what-if scenarios in dashboards to make quickly more informed decisions is critical. And this is part of the advanced analytics capabilities that are available in a solution like DataSelf but not available or not easily available in something uh, with a built-in functionality from Acumatica. Other things we do is, you know, we have in this dashboard red flags. If a bar is red, it's because something is not good. So right here I see my inventory assets is too high. As a CEO, I might, might be wondering, who is responsible for this? Are they taking care of this problem? And then I need to take some action, maybe call the person or not. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this bar. And if I'm in Acumatica in something like similar, I would just see the underlying table populating this bar natively. That's easy to do. But if you need something else, it's not straightforward. With data self, I'm going to click on this bar and I go into a subsection of this whole dashboard showing me details about my inventory. So I see again the same chart here, inventory by business unit inventory of my top 10 products by cost on hand today. These are the top 10 products. And as I put the mouse over uh, the bars, it shows me in the middle section where those items are. And if the bar is red, means it's above my threshold. What I can tell here is that uh, a lot of my excess inventory is in the West Warehouse. So, aha, I have the aha moment. And I might want to call the warehouse manager to ask what's going on. Are you taking care of it? Or maybe I want to email the person. So the question is, do you have their phone number? Do you know their email address? Well, in data self, we can easily build into the functionality and it's something super easy to do. When you click on a label, you have this pop-up that asks you, call the warehouse manager or per perhaps email the warehouse manager. And from here, you have an action. You don't have to look for phone numbers and email addresses right from a dashboard. It can give you the numbers and you can take action to take care of the problem. So here I'm showing one of our YouTubes where I'm showing that same dashboard on a smartphone. So same dashboard on a computer as on a smartphone. And let me show how placing a call to the warehouse manager in this example is so easy. So I just Look at the dashboard. I can zoom in, click the West Warehouse label, click Call Manager, 
confirm in the dashboard will place the call right off the bat. It's that easy to take action from uh, these dashboards. So that's one example of advanced analytics helping decision makers to jump from an insight into taking action and taking care of business.